One of the biggest misconceptions I had years ago when I dreamed of traveling the world was that I had to come up with all of the cash to fund my vacations. Back then, travel felt expensive, even as a budget traveler, because I was fronting 100% of the bill. But since my first solo trip to Paris in 2014, I've learned a lot. I've become a financially savvy traveler. Yes, money is still required to travel, but there are plenty of ways to travel cheaply or to spend nothing at all. By being creative, having a can-do attitude, and making informed decisions, I've discovered plenty of simple travel hacks to reduce costs and travel for free. If you're looking for easy ways to earn miles fast, then in this episode, we're going to talk about seven brand partnerships you should absolutely know about. Knowing these optimization strategies and tips can easily earn you hundreds or thousands of bonus airline miles a year. The world of planes and miles isn't always straightforward, and I'll admit that. But I hope that by learning how to optimize your frequent flyer miles, you can travel more and also spend less. Now, accompanying this podcast episode, I want to point you to the blog post over at thoughtcard.com, where I have a full write-up of all the things we're going to be talking about today and more. There are continuing partnerships that are popping up from time to time. So the blog post will be your go-to resource for what's new and any updates. I also have pins for Pinterest, so you can pin these posts on your board and reference back to them a little later. This episode is made possible with the support of Thrifty Traveler. Over the last five years, Thrifty Traveler has been my go-to resource for all things cheap flights. And y'all know I love me some cheap flights. I've been able to visit places I never thought I could afford by simply staying in the know with instant flight deal email notifications. Get free cheap flight alerts for flights departing from the U.S. and Canada sent straight to your inbox. And if you want to access even more deals or want to be the first to know about points and mile sales or discounted business and first class tickets, upgrade to Thrifty Traveler Premium. Use the promo code TC10 for $10 off your first year of Thrifty Traveler Premium. Again, that's TC10 for 10 bucks off your first year. The links to sign up will be in the show notes. Welcome to The Thought Card, a podcast about travel and money where planning, saving, and creativity leads to affording travel, building wealth, and paying off debt. We are the Financially Savvy Travelers. Alrighty. So at the top of the episode, I mentioned we're going to be talking about these brand partnerships that's going to offer you an opportunity to earn bonus points and miles. But I don't want you to be confused with airline alliances or shopping portals. Travel brands like Delta Airlines and Marriott have these lucrative partnerships that allow you to earn bonus points and miles. You can earn thousands of points and miles on everyday purchases and travel purchases like groceries and even Airbnb stays, for example. So some important things to note. Number one, some partnerships only require linking accounts once. Everything else will be automated after that. Number two is that other partnerships require connecting accounts and using a specific link every time. So be mindful of these two different variations. With that being said, here's another helpful tip is that I always think about like before making a purchase, especially online, I pause and think if there are any other ways to maximize this purchase, whether by earning cash back or gaining additional points and miles through the partnerships we're going to be talking about today. And I think that's what really makes 
a financially savvy traveler is that optimization minds. Like we're trying to maximize and we are trying our best to make sure that all of our spending, everything that we do is going to push us toward the direction of travel, right? So before you make a purchase, just pause and think about, okay, is there any partnerships I should be aware of? Any cashback opportunities? What is the best course of action? And I feel like just by simply taking that little moment to think, you're going to start to make smarter decisions. With that being said, let's go ahead and talk about these partnerships. So for the purposes of this episode, we're going to be talking mostly about Marriott partnerships and also Delta partnerships. But again, I refer you back to my blog post over at thoughtcard.com where we dig into even more, okay? So definitely head back over to thoughtcard.com. The link will be in the show notes. So you can check out all the other ones that I've included as well. But let's focus on Marriott partnerships first. So by joining Marriott's hotel rewards program, you can earn and redeem points on free hotel nights and unlock benefits like complimentary Wi-Fi and discounted member rates. You can earn Marriott points through hotel stays. You could also earn through credit card spending and also partnerships, which is what we're going to be talking about today. So did you know that Uber and Marriott are in partnership and they've teamed up where you can earn Marriott Bonvoy points a lot easier? So you can earn points towards your next dream vacation with each Uber ride or Uber Eats delivery. So you can earn six points per dollar spent on Uber Eats, orders of $25 and up, delivered to any Marriott hotel. So when you're actually traveling and you're staying at a Marriott and you're looking for places to eat, you don't feel like getting out of your hotel, check out Uber Eats because you can earn six points per dollar spent by simply ordering Uber Eats and having it delivered at a Marriott hotel. You can also get three points per dollar spent on rides with Uber XL, Uber Comfort, Uber SUV, and also Uber Black. You can also earn two points per dollar spend on all Uber Eats orders, pickup or delivery of 25 plus dollars. So if you're not a Marriott Bonvoy member yet, you can join for free at Marriott.com and then you wanna link your Uber account to your Marriott account. Currently, this is only available in the U.S., but I want to paint a picture for you to tell you how impactful just linking these two accounts have been. So I checked my Marriott Bonvoy points balance as I was working on this episode, and I earned an additional 600 Marriott Bonvoy points this year through this partnership. So it's super easy to do. You link your Marriott and your Uber accounts once, and all of your Uber expenses and purchases will start to register and compound on itself. So again, you all know that I love easy ways to earn points and miles and the Uber and Marriott partnership is one of my favorites. So it's something that I can set it and forget it. And at the end of the year, I have a couple of extra hundred to thousands of extra Marriott Bonvoy points, which is pretty incredible. And pretty exciting so I can stay at more Marriott hotels for free. Now, the next partnership is Delta. So with Delta, you're going to be earning Sky Miles. So Delta Sky Miles is Delta's airlines loyalty program. Again, you can join for free. What I love about Delta is that there are no caps on how many Sky Miles you can accumulate. These miles also do not expire. So common ways that you can earn Delta Sky Miles include flying, dining out, shopping, and using your co-branded American Express credit cards, like your Delta Sky Miles Gold American Express card, or your Delta Sky Miles Platinum American Express card, or even your reserve card. All the links to those cards, if you're interested in checking them out, will be in the show notes. With that being said, Recently, Delta and Starbucks partnered together. And for me, this is like the best thing since sliced bread. 
because I love my Delta Sky Miles. I love Delta overall in general. And I love Starbucks coffee, like love. So after linking your Delta and Starbucks accounts together, you'll earn one mile per dollar spent at participating Starbucks stores. On travel days, when you fly with Delta and make a Starbucks purchase, you'll earn double Starbucks reward stars. This excludes tax and also gratuity. So you could visit deltastarbucks.com, follow the prompts to link your accounts together, log in or sign up for both programs to link your accounts. Now, here's a helpful tip. You do not have to visit deltastarbucks.com or starbucksdelta.com. I know they have two different versions of the website to earn miles or stars. All you have to do is link your accounts once and you're good to go. So honestly, when I'm flying with Delta, I go out of my way, even though it's really not out of my way, but I make sure when I'm flying with Delta, I am always like, let me go grab my cup of coffee and earn my extra Delta miles this way. And not even when I'm flying, but like even when I'm home, like I love drinking Starbucks coffee, especially during fall for pumpkin spice season. Again, I just love Starbucks so much. So now that I'm going to Starbucks, I now can earn Delta Sky Miles automatically. Yes, sign me up 100%. Done, done, done. (laughs) So yeah, Delta and Starbucks is just one of the partnerships. And let's keep on going down the list. Next is Airbnb and Delta. So this partnership is another one of my favorites. I've known about this for years and I always earn Delta Sky Miles on my Airbnb stays. Airbnb has over 7 million homes listed. You can stay at a castle, at an igloo, at a cozy cabin by the lake. Now, what I love about this partnership is that there are no minimum spends and you can earn one Delta Sky Mile per $1 spent with Airbnb on all qualifying stays worldwide. So to reiterate this, you have to book through the DeltaAirbnb.com link for tracking purposes. You're going to visit this exclusive page and enter your Delta Sky Miles every time for every Airbnb stay, okay? If you go directly to Airbnb without using this link, you will not earn any miles, okay? So this is super important. This is the instance where you have to go to a specific link. That's how you are gonna be able to earn those Delta Sky Miles. So at this point, like I said, I've been using Delta and Airbnb for years. So I know before I even book anything on Airbnb, I'm going to go and click on that link. But if you are not familiar with this partnership and you're not used to doing that, just put a little note for yourself, a little sticky somewhere or a note on your phone that like you have to use this DeltaAirbnb.com link to get those extra Delta Sky Miles. But again, I love this partnership. I've been using them for years. And again, it just allows me to just earn bonus Delta Sky Miles and have those free flights just a little bit faster. Now, I know earlier we talked about Marriott Bonvoy and also Uber, but if you prefer Lyft over Uber, there's a partnership for you. You can get rewarded on all of your Lyft rides. All you have to do is link your Delta Sky Miles and Lyft accounts to start earning one mile per dollar spent on Lyft rides in the U.S. For U.S. airport rides, you can earn two miles per dollar spent on Lyft rides. This excludes taxes, fees, tolls, and also tips. Another cool perk here is that members with a linked Lyft account can receive reminders with details for their upcoming travel with Delta, including your flight number, your destination, your departure and boarding time, your terminal and gate numbers right through the Lyft app and via email. So they go beyond just offering you extra Delta Sky Miles. You can also get these cool notifications sent to your Lyft account or via your email. Now, a quick note here, once your accounts are linked, 
make sure you have Delta Sky Miles as your preferred travel reward in the rewards tab in your Lyft app to earn miles on all eligible rides. So yes, linking your Delta Sky Miles and Lyft accounts is step one, but you also want to make sure that your Delta Sky Miles is your preferred travel reward selected in the Lyft app. So that's really important. Again, some of these you have to kind of take it one step further or like remember to use the links and all these things. So just be mindful of this as you're linking out your Lyft and Delta Sky Miles accounts. Now, another partnership with Delta is Delta and Ticketmaster. So Ticketmaster, we know this is where we go to typically for comedy shows and sporting events and concerts. And you can also earn Delta Sky Miles with your qualifying Ticketmaster purchases. You'll earn one mile per dollar spent on eligible Ticketmaster purchases for events in the U.S. and Canada up to 2,500 miles per month. So there is a cap that you can earn per month with this partnership. Remember to earn miles. You must first visit DeltaTicketmaster.com and use that specific link. Again, it's Delta ticketmaster.com to earn these Delta Sky Miles. So in this instance, you do not have to link your accounts. You're going to just visit this specific link whenever you go to make a Ticketmaster purchase and just type in your Delta Sky Miles number to earn those bonus airline miles. All right. Now, another of my favorite partnerships is Delta and Instacart. So now you can earn Delta Sky Miles on your grocery runs and you can turn your groceries into getaways. (laughs) It's so cute, but I love it. Turn groceries into getaways. So Instacart is a very popular online grocery platform where you can earn Delta Sky Miles whenever you make a purchase. Now excluding fees, taxes, and also tips. When you link your account, and sign up for Instacart One, you'll earn one mile per dollar spent with Instacart. This is via instacart.com on your browser or the Instacart app, okay? If you are an Instacart Express member, you can earn 1.5 miles per dollar spent. Now, not only do you earn Delta Sky Miles with your Instacart purchases, but we have some additional perks for in reverse. So. When you're a Delta Sky Miles member, you also have access to a special free trial of Instacart Express, which costs about $99 per year. With Instacart Express, you have no delivery fees on orders over $35. There are also lower service fees, and there are a lot of other perks. On average, you can save about 7 bucks per order through Instacart Express. So what I love about this partnership is that, yes, we can earn Delta Sky Miles on Instacart purchases, but if you're also interested in this Instacart Express for additional savings, you can have this extra bonus free trial, which I think is really cool. All right, so the last partnership I wanted to mention today is all about Turo and Delta. So Turo is a car sharing marketplace where you can rent out cars from local host. You can enter a location and date and browse through thousands of cars shared by host. In this partnership, you're going to link your Turo account and your Delta Sky Miles account and earn miles for trips that you take on Turo. You can earn 2,000 miles when you book your first trip with Turo and 500 miles on additional trips after your first one. So if you are a fan of Turo and you rent Turo cars from time to time on either your trips on your day-to-day life, like you can quickly start to earn a load of Delta Sky Miles through this partnership. So this is another one that I think you should all know about, okay? So Overall, I hope that after listening to this episode that you feel encouraged that earning points and miles can be easy and can I dare say even fun. (laughs) Yes, I don't know. For me, it's fun. Optimization is like so fun for me. So you can get anywhere from one to two miles 
or hotel points per dollar spent on everyday and also travel purposes by utilizing these partnerships and linking these different accounts. Delta alone has six established partnerships with Starbucks, Lyft, Airbnb, Instacart, Turo, Ticketmaster, and I'm sure there's more. Okay. So again, what I love about Delta is that these miles do not expire and that there are no caps on how many points that you can accumulate over time. So I am definitely a fan of Delta for sure. But again, there are so many other partnerships. So visit thoughtcard.com to see what other partnerships I've added to the list after recording this episode, okay? If you enjoyed this episode of the Thought Card Podcast, I invite you to binge my other travel hacking episodes, including episode 94, all about the travel hacking mistakes to avoid. Ugh, I've made so many mistakes and I laid all out for you in that episode. It's a goodie. It's a really good one. Episode 93, we talked about ways to earn points and miles without traveling. And then episode 79 with Julia Menez, where you can learn about how to get free hotel upgrades and just other super cool travel hacking secrets. Now, before I let you go, I want to hear from you. You can either tweet me over at the thought card, Instagram message me, DM me over at the Danielle Desir on Instagram, or simply just leave me a comment under the blog post on my site and share with me your favorite points hacking strategies and also what partnerships that you love and that you appreciate and you enjoy. If there's a partnership that I did not mention, definitely let me know about that partnership and I'll make sure to include it on the blog post so it will be a resource. Again, it's something that I'm going to continuously update and keeping my eyes out for all the cool different partnerships that there are out there. So I'd love to hear from you again. There's multiple ways you can reach out to me and let's keep the conversation going. Now that is all for today and I will see you in the next one.